Hi everyone, it's Dean Haglin. Welcome once again to another exciting live paranormal investigation of Scared and Alone. We are coming to you from across the country and we are investigating one of the most historic, frightening uh, uh, buildings in all of America. It is the John Proctor House from uh, the Crucible is Salem, Massachusetts. We know this from the witch hunt. We are... Uh, he is the only male uh, witch to be hung in the Salem trials. And we are going to be going through the entire house uh, that he lived uh, at the time. So, as always, we are with our uh, crack team of paranormal investigators, starting with over on the East Coast. It is the gentleman psychic, our very own Spectral Bob Ross, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our show, Richard Lell Lillard. Richard Lell, how are you? I am very well, my friend. How are you? I am fantastic. I understand we're doing something different uh, tonight. Oh, we are doing something very different tonight. It's going to be a little bit of a reveal, but it's going to be something very different. Oh. Though I will say that this... The, the property, the ground, the earth that surrounds this place has so much energy that it, it practically screams. And in fact, Courtney is going to be lucky because it, I think it might actually physically scream at some point. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. I, I don't know if we should uh, foreshadow so deeply, but okay. Let's say that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> and then coming to us from our home state, my home state, new home state of Michigan. It is from the paranormal investigator of the Detroit Paranormal Expeditions. It's Mr. Todd Bonner, ladies and gentlemen. Todd, how are you? Hello. I'm doing I'm doing good. I'm actually good getting back in the swing of this stuff here. Fantastic. I think I still owe you a coffee from the last time. Yes, we, we got to get together, especially with the weather breaking now. Hopefully, oh, I mean, it was okay. not you nice today. I, I'm sorry. This is my, what, second, third year in Michigan? I third. cannot handle this winter. Uh, this no. is going crazy. It's snowing April, April 2nd, snowing. April 1st, I get a gag. Yeah, that's April Fool's joke. Snow on April 2nd, that's ridiculous. It's too far. That is too far. I know. Too far, Michigan, in this. This is ridiculous. We don't have a spring anymore. It just goes right from winter to like summer. So I know. I know. I, I can't get over it. Okay. And then coming to us from Indiana, it is our paranormal princess with all the dolls. Uh, uh, she is the haunted doll collector. List, uh, everybody welcome Miss Haley Michelle, ladies and gentlemen. Haley, how are you? <laughs> Good, I was gonna say I may look a little different, you know, just a little pink in the hair. A little pink in the hair, but I wanna you know. follow up uh, before we go into the show. From two weeks ago, uh, you brought that doll, which was an exact <laughs> match of the doll that was in the closet at the uh, Bray Burn Mansion. And yes. there was some sort of transference. I don't know what happened, but the doll had energy, suddenly jumped over to you. Your lights started going off and on. And then when yeah. I tried to talk to you about it at the end of the show, your audio kicked out. I forgot about that part. Yes, that yeah. was so crazy. I do remember when she showed that doll and I actually had a different haunted doll. And I was like, hold on a minute. I know that I have that doll. It's and the, as soon it's as I'm the same it, company, like the same doll so. manufacturer, right? It looked yes. identical. Right. So what happened? It was seriously that moment right then and there when I switched them out. I mean, when I brought her in, this is Eloise. Eloise, yeah. Like, yes, all the lights started going off. I had a horrible, horrible night. Um, I almost messaged you guys and was like, round of applause, Courtney. Thanks for showing us that doll because now I'm having problems. Oh, um, no. What happened? Nightmares, um, lots of weird creaking, like walking through my hallways. And she was completely knocked over on the ground. And what? I thought her face busted. I try to be so <laughs> delicate with her because she's so, she's such an old doll. She's so fragile. Yeah. She was just completely, um, she was on a little couch over here, completely falling off. <sighs> wow. 
And how long did that last? Was it more than just the weekend or did it go? Um, It kind of, it lasted through the night and all day Sunday. So I was dealing with that little, you know, parade. So for all of those who are watching and joining us now, you are part of this live investigation. Uh, Be forewarned, I don't know, is forewarned that uh, everybody has experienced across the country various electronic, uh, various uh, electrical uh, energy uh, anomalies, including myself. I, my, my robot vacuum still goes off at odd times and just stops in the middle of the studio somewhere. I come back in the studio in the morning. It is just located somewhere. It, it didn't go back to recharge. It just vacuums a bit and then just stops and decides to hell with it. So I don't know <laughs> <laughs> what the heck's going on. So, uh, so Haley, we're going to hope that this uh, has been refreshed right. and we can go forward, right? Courtney said the sad news of no dolls of this investigation, so it might be a little easier for me. Right. This weekend. <laughs> and joining us, of course, is the bravest person in all the paranormal investigations. It is from uh, the Proctor House. It's Courtney Buckley, our very own ghost bait, ladies and gentlemen. Courtney, how are you? Dean, I <clears throat> stuff has already been happening here no. today, um, which I'll get into in a second. But it's today's a very important day. If I can take a second, it is yep. World Autism Awareness Day. World uh, Autism my son, Awareness Day. Yeah, yeah. my son Nathan it has autism, and it's his mm-hmm. favorite day. So I just wanted to say Happy Autism Awareness Day to Nathan, and I love you, and I'm proud of you. Oh, Nathan. Yay, We're Nathan. So proud of you. He's also Hi, the Nathan. manager of Richard Lowe. Is that correct? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I have, ha- Hi, Nathan. How are you? Hope you're doing well. We love your mama. She's so great. Um, we wish that you were here enjoying it too, but. We're, we're going to enjoy the show with you from there and she from here, and we'll all enjoy it together, but in a different weird way. Okay, that's, that's <laughs> okay. I'm, I still love that. Well, so well done, Richard Lell. So Courtney, tell us now, you're in the John Proctor house. You are standing in front of the historic hearth uh, where many a traveler would have enjoyed uh, some sort of meal because Uh, John Proctor's house had the red door, which suggested it was open to all travelers traveling through uh, the, uh, as seen in this photo here, uh, any door painted with a red door in New England was uh, welcomed for travelers. And uh, this house was no exception in Peabody, which was originally uh, Salem, Massachusetts. And, and he actually, he was the first, he wasn't the only male that was executed for accused, w- as an accused witch in Salem oh, during witch trials. He was the first male. Um, but I believe there were, there were five, 14 women and five men. And then Giles Corey, who was pressed to death. Oh, well, there we go. I thought he was the only, but he's the first. Yeah, the first. And at the time he was uh, uh, protecting his wife. He was, he was, uh, his wife was pregnant. He was defending her. And they accused him of witchcraft and yep. sent him to the gallows. And uh, understand that they also ransacked this very uh, facility that you're in now. T- technically yep. a tavern, but uh, now the home of uh, where you're sitting. So And he, he- yeah, he was very outspoken um, about the atrocities that were taking place here in 1692. He didn't believe in the witch trial, like in, in the accusations that were being made. He thought it was all craziness which of course it was um but there's been stories of like you know he one of the girls that was having a fit he bent her over the knee and tried to spank her to make her stop and it stopped for she stopped for a minute and he you know said see like this is not this isn't witchcraft this is craziness right yeah a crazy time for sure in in history so now you definitely feel that not just here just this whole area it's like in the ground like it's Salem is a very unique place. I know this is PV, but um, this whole area where all this happened, it's its like in the dirt. Yeah, because technically this house is on the site of the original John Proctor house, but his son did some major renovations and mm-hmm. technically moved it off its original foundation. Am I getting that right? Um, well, in the, the tavern, there's thoughts that like the tavern was here that he ran also, but um, his son, the house as you see it today, I mean, well, the beginnings of the house as you see it today was built by his son and then added on to 
over time. But right. this hearth behind me is the original hearth from the 1600s. And then downstairs in the basement, which is funny enough where I met all of you beautiful people, um, that is the original foundation of the house from the 1600s as well. Right. What? And so you say stuff is happening already. I'm getting some weird bass coming through my speakers. What is that? I was about uh, to ask if you guys hear that. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Like sounds weird. like someone's pushing uh, things. A Congo drum or a creaking or what is that? Is somebody else in the room with you, Courtney? No. You're by yourself in this house. What is that? That thing. There it goes again. What is Do you that? hear it, Courtney? I hear it through my speakers, not in the house. Todd, are you hearing that? Yeah, I hear it too. I hear it, and it's not me. It's not me. Usually it's me, but it's not me this time. No, I think this, I think this one is communication. It's it's like a, a recurrent, like, it sounds like bongos or something. Like it's, yeah, a it's, deeper, like a, it's a consistent beat. Yeah. What is the ground vibrating below you, Courtney, or something? No, but you know what? It makes me think of like the beat is like the heartbeat that we had at the Emory Estate. Like the house had a heartbeat. Oh. And we've said a lot of times that this house feels like there's definitely spirits here, but it also feels like the house has its own energy. Um, and I wonder if maybe that's, if we're picking up on something like that again, like we did at yeah. Emory Estate. Well, it's definitely not my chair as uh, the producer suggested, because I am on a pivot chair. I'm not on my creaky uh, uh, gaming chair. I don't so, even hear it now. Yeah, no, now no. it stopped, right? It was a low rumble for the yeah. longest time, but now it just my, stopped as soon as we focused on it. My thought was, Richard it's, it's a tavern. So my, my what I saw in my mind, I saw this man, 1700s, early 1700s. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I saw him sitting on a, on a, on a long hand-hewn table and he's sort of, he's sort of drumming with his fingers. Oh, he's got one. He's got one hand up, and with the other hand, he's he's drumming. Oh. Long hair. It's 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 kind of stringy. It's like he was waiting for he was waiting for a drink. That's what I keep getting. Is give me a drink. Oh, he must have got it. Impatient, impatient with my preamble, welcoming everybody to the show. <laughs> I just rambled too long off this top. Already, I'm well, at fault. Wanted his drink. I don't blame him. I mean, I <laughs> I, I I could see that too, Courtney. Uh, it just give us a little uh, description of where you are other than the hearth. So you are okay. in a parlor? Oh, so, yep, this is the, the parlor area. So you can see the kitchen is off back here. Mm -hmm. And we have the rest of the room here. The ceilings are very low because it's an old house. Right. Um, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a decently sized room. Obviously, right. the hearth is the... The centerpiece here, but and so if I recall, this was sort of where uh, all the travelers would gather. Uh, yep. So meals. the red door is actually right. I mean, all the doors are red now, but the the front red door is right here. Right. So something's uh, sorry. Something's uh, dribbling. It's not raining in Michigan, but. I got something going on in my place. I'm sorry. This is called scaring alone because each of us are alone in our own locations and something <laughs> weird happens in all our locations. Something just weird. I have okay. a really like a heavy feeling right now. I don't know what Me it is. Me too. Yeah. Right? Something. I don't know if it's a room you're in, Courtney, and I know there was fun times there and tragic times. I don't know if those energies are mixing right now or something, but it's... I feel something it, off. It's like know. a yeah. strong anxiety, like almost like yeah. something setting on top of your chest. Mm -hmm. I'm getting For very me. lightheaded. Yeah. Like uh -huh. that anxiety, light, lightheaded, like. I'm Just, getting that too. I'd like, it, it feels like my ceiling's caving in on me. I think we should probably turn off the lights and get the K2s out. What do you think? Whoa. I think that's, well, <laughs> yeah, at least get a K2 out to see what's uh, right. going on. Hold on, let me turn off. I'm not going to lie, even oh. just looking at the picture of the house that you guys were just showing gives me so much emotion. I know the red door is supposed to mean something good, you know, for people, right. but yeah, you're welcome. there's something about that pure black house and a red door that makes me think of Insidious, where there's like the demon downstairs. And oh my God. You know, like... I, have tell, I have to tell you a little story about the black house or the red door. Okay. 
when I was really, really, really little, I, I, I remember this conversation with my mom. I was about three years old. And I said to her, we were driving along one day, and I said, one day I will have a black house with a red door. And maybe people will think it's weird, but I, I want a black house with a red door. And my mother was so accepting, and she said, you know, I think that would be a very pretty house. Uh, so it's when I see the John Proctor house to have this black house with a red door, even though it, it, it is a tavern and it welcomes people. I, for me, I really, it, it, even though it, it's, it's a lot of activity, it really makes me feel kind of warm and fuzzy. Like the nostalgic feeling or something. <laughs> uh, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of miss it. So yeah. uh, when, I, when I was three, I wanted a black house at the red door, but still that is what I desire. Oh. What's funny, Richard Lale, is I grew up in this area and mm -hmm. I grew up driving past this house. And I would always say when I was little that I wanted to live in the black house with the red door. <laughs> oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and now here you are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So I have, I put a K2 in the hearth. Okay. And then I have another one in my hand. And my lights just went out. Todd, uh, lead us with some questions, perhaps we should ask of whatever. First, I, just, I, I would like to, all the energies in the house, could you come down and, and meet with Courtney? Uh, she means you no harm. And all of us just want to talk to you. If you can come down with her. I just have a, such a weird feeling. I don't know. I felt odd even saying that right now. I don't know why. Yeah, right? Uh. And uh, Haley Castanella said there's three males, two females, and a couple children, but not from the house. So ex exterior uh, guests are coming into the facility. Uh, Courtney, do you want to repeat what Todd just said so they could hear you in case? Okay. Um, all right. So everybody here in the house with me, you know me. Um, You've, you've made your presence known to me before. As always, we just want to talk. It's safe. Um, everybody that's here, come down in here. Gather around the hearth with me. Oh, I just got chill. Oh, no. Come gather around the hearth with me. And let's, let's have a conversation. If, if, if you're here and you can hear me and you want us to know that you're here, make a sound that we all can hear. Uh, Haley, sa Haley Castanella says he's asking you, what do you want? It's very controlling and pushy. But, uh, we, we just want to talk. Yeah. We want to learn more about you. Tell us your name. Oh, I heard a voice. Did you hear something? I hear him too. I heard the voice too. I, I, I didn't know if it was Richard Lale or Dean or no, it's not me. It was a male voice. Did I ever, heard that a little bit? Yeah. Before we started. It, was, yeah. it was like a conversation to himself or something. <laughs> yeah. I should remind everyone who's watching to turn on your recording devices and you can record EMVPs and uh, uh, put them through audio, uh, not synthesizers. What am I thinking? To uh, mixers and get uh, uh, the voices enhanced as we hear them. So, so I, I can feel somebody touching the, my hair. The back of your hair? Yeah, like the back on the top. Like they're standing behind me and like twirling a fi their finger like this, like it's twirling my hair at in the their top finger. of your hair, like right here. And I, I'm sitting on the floor. Like that would be regular height for someone's hand to be. Do you? Okay. Are you? If, if, if that was you touching my hair. What's that? Who did that noise? What was that? Was that me breathing? Was it you breathing, Haley? I don't know. <laughs> no, that was a heavy. Was it was heavy. way heavier. It was... oh, okay. Because that was again, you. Haley. Do that again, Haley, just to make sure so we can debunk that. Okay. Well, it sounded yeah. lower. My, yeah. It sounded deeper, like a, almost deeper. like a hill. 
Yeah, yeah. It was closer to the mic too. It sounded. Yeah. Like. Well, it's so weird because when I did that breath, I almost felt like something left me. Like I felt better. Like that heavy feeling that was like sitting on my chest when I did that breath. It felt like it yeah. got off me, and it felt I felt relief. And it happened right after that I heard like the talking. And do you have any other dolls with you at the uh, moment? Or I have them all throughout my room in this room. Okay. Are you uh, inviting any of them on this investigation or are they all just observing? Well, I have Harmony who's looking straight at me right now. So she's kind of joined in, but I can you bring any Harmony. of them in. But I just really wanted Eloise to come join, especially since last time she didn't really get to stay for that long. <laughs> True. And she messed with all your lights. She and saw all. her twin. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. So H Haley, can I ask you something? Yeah. Um, we talked about this before on, on National Ghost Hunting Day a little bit, but my son was afraid of this house because the first time he came in here, he walked through the house and he said that he saw a doll and he kept calling it the scary doll. They, they have not had a doll in this house. And he said it reminded him of Chucky, but oh. it was like sitting in the corner of a room when he saw it in and the parlor, it was not an actual doll. Did he see was it in the anything? Parlor? There was nothing there that looked like that, but he was like, ter like refused to come back to this okay. house for a while. What I'm feeling right now and what I'm just getting like immediately, it was definitely something pretending to be a doll. Like, you know, not even trying to be like a friendly doll, just like enough to scare the crap out of him. Like, ooh, come here, you know, I'm creepy. I don't know. It does. It seems like one of those spirits who are pretending to be something that they're not. Something looking a little kinder than they are. Even though he looked like Chucky, you know <laughs> what I mean? It was still like a doll thing to him. Okay. That's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why I brought that up because now I yeah, just think something that works. <laughs> well, you just. Uh, <laughs> I was so excited to not have dolls. Yeah. And now the anxiety at my level is going through the roof. Um, <sighs> also funny. joining us. Uh, oh. No, it looks like we just lost her. It was the owner of the house who uh, bought it sight unseen from California. Barbara, are you there? Hi, Can I'm you here. Hear us? Hi, Barbara. Where are you right now? Oh, I'm just in the living room. Oh, you I'm are? Tired. Okay. And uh, you know a lot of the history of this place. You, you purchased this uh, 2018, was it? Yeah, in, uh, I call it Christmas 2018. This was my gift to my family. <laughs> <laughs> and you bought it just reading a newspaper article in Huntington Beach, California. And you just said, oh, we should put a bid on the John Proctor House in Peabody, Massachusetts, having never seen it before, sight unseen. And you won the bid. Yeah, it's uh, pretty much like that. Uh, I saw it on the morning news and it looked fantastic. It was this gorgeous black house with red doors. And I said, oh, somebody needs to save that. And I just kind of felt a special calling to do it. So I told my family and they're like, you're kind of crazy, but you know, you do you. So we um, got all of our stuff together put in the bid and you know after a couple weeks we found out that um we were going to uh go into escrow and get the house so it was pretty exciting so you pulled yeah, up stakes from california yeah you didn't even visit it yeah you just sort of moved from california went across the country moved into this <laughs> house it's uh, you your husband how many daughters i have two girls they're both in their uh, early 20s. Yeah. In their early 20s. So they were t teenagers still when they were in here? Uh, yeah, one of them was in high school and the other one was in college. Wow. And they're both and English so majors. <laughs> so it was kind of um, ironic that uh, we would get a house with st such historical uh, uh, notes to it. So it's Notes kind of to it, yeah, for sure. Okay, well, we'll be coming to you from time to time to get some historical details as we go through because sure. we are uh, clearly, uh, all of us, feeling various levels of uh, weight. I'm going to say weight 
Yeah. Uh, unless, Todd, is, is that accurate for you? Yeah, and I, I think I'm with Haley on it kind of changed a little Anxiety. bit. Anxiety. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, something, whatever was there, might have been curious and left. Um, ah. But it's, it's a different feeling now. It's still off a little bit, but it's yes. just not heavy. That's and, so weird. Yeah. What are you feeling? I think whenever you are at the Proctor house, it's a real gamble. <laughs> oh, is that right? Have you visited Richard L? You, you're on the East Coast. Have you been it's there? Procter and Gamble. <laughs> ah, oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Ray, you did not do that joke. That is the lame. Oh, you should be banned from the show for two weeks for Procter. Right? <laughs> that is the worst. I had to repeat the joke for others to get it. That's how bad that pun was. No, I haven't been to the house, but I do. Salem is has long been a long part of my own unique attraction. There, there were there's really two places. Strangely, I live in in Long Island, but there in, there are two places in the United States that have always pulled me, and one is Salem, and the other is New Orleans. Oh, oh, that's so. I, so I, 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 I I love the energy. I love the history. I just love it. Excellent. Okay, Courtney, talk to us. Uh, uh, you are now still in the parlor. You haven't moved. Your K2 meters uh, uh, staying stable. But what are you feeling? Or what are you hearing? I, I'm feeling the same as like Haley and Todd. I think whatever was in here with us moved. And I'm kind of feeling like I want to check out the basement. Okay. Well, we can do You're that. You're crazy today. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Listen, I just, it's right below me. The basement is right below me. And I feel like it's close, but no cigar right now. Like I want to, it's, I don't know if it's calling me down there, which kind of scares uh -oh. me or what, uh -huh. but it's, and it was here for a minute and now it's gone. If I recall from our uh, show, our sister show called This Old Haunted House, when we looked at this, there's two basements because the son did a renovation at his second basement, but you're going down to the original basement. Right. That was uh, originally with the John Proctor house. So right. it is uh, uh, narrow. It is a basement from the 1600s. They weren't really uh, considering a lot in terms of mechanicals or safety, shall we say in terms of stairs and ceiling height. So I'm gonna recommend that you be very careful going down there because it's not a regular modern day basement as we know it. Well, did you guys ever see Winnie the Pooh when he gets stuck in the honey tree? <laughs> it made me so claustrophobic, not gonna lie. No, but like that's what it that's what it looks like when I try to get down the stairs. Oh my so god. So if we could maybe take me off of the screen so nobody has to witness that atrocity, because that's Damn that's it. a horror in and of itself. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will uh, I'll pop back in when I get down there hmm. Dean I don't hear you I don't hear him either can you hear yeah. me oh my uh, god Dean the Roomba Where's we the can't Roomba? hear you we, we can't hear you it, 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 a mime is a terrible thing to waste <laughs> 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 I'm really good at reading lips so I can just translate the whole time <laughs> can you <laughs> i'm really good at it i swear it, well okay i, I we he said can you hear me now no we can't hear you now we can't hear you at all do you know what it is i know what it is which which <laughs> <laughs> well actually to be fair to be fair I, I can see several witches, so maybe that's maybe that's what it is. One, two, three, four. Can anybody five. hear me? Now oh, you oh, oh, hear me. Welcome back. Oh my gosh, and all my hard drives just kicked off. It said disk did not eject properly. I have six auxiliary hard drives. All of them just ejected as soon as... What? What the hell? <laughs> oh, Okay. You know what? This is now third, the or the third or fourth uh, computer anomaly that's happened with the show. I'm going to start charging the show for oh, all really? my computer. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I got a Remember? robot that is a, a mind of its own. I now just wasted six hard drives. What? Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> in your, I have to tell you, when I when I yelled the rumba, your face was the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Which is weird. It's not even a Roomba brand. It's a Samsung. It's in the Samsung family. You think the hardware, the software would be, but no, this room, the Samsung robot vacuum is now its own entity. And mm -hmm. I, I, I'm too scared to throw it in the garbage. I, <laughs> I can't reprogram it. And it just sort of wanders around just with myself when I'm not here. That's Put a Ouija it. board on the floor. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I have a, yeah, a satanic Samsung robot vacuum. Fantastic. This show, you know what? I don't know if I should host it anymore. I'm really. <laughs> I just wasted six hard drives. Oh, oh my gosh. This is terrible. How well, I mean, six hard drives. Um, six is the number of man. <laughs> Uh, oh, six, six. Uh oh. Six. Okay. I don't. I don't. I don't know. What to say. <laughs> I just lost. I can't even host anymore. So, uh, Todd, you and I are both in Michigan. You're gonna have to come here and do some sort of cleansing or something. Or what does you, what does you have to do? An investigation. And see what you got there. <laughs> well, he I don't want to. There should be no investigation. This house was built in like. Uh, in 1949, nobody died here. This shouldn't be. Oh, uh, you're pulling everything in from the show. But the land. I know it's coming yeah, the through land the internet. Too. It's like every ghost coming through the internet and effing with all of my electronics. This is costing me now. This. <laughs> I, I feel like they're fall. distracting. I'm like invested in this. They're distracting me to not go down in the basement. They are. Oh. So I feel like I should probably. Is. Go Get, right down in the basement. Uh, it's like we all forgot about it too. Right. You are so brave. You are so brave, Courtney. I am for right now. We'll see how <laughs> Winnie the Pooh feels when I get downstairs. So are you downstairs yet? Or no, because I was oh. distracted by the drama of the your your possessed possessed computer. So okay, you know. Um, if you guys can take me off the screen, I'm gonna yeah, get we'll down there and I'll the check back in. As originally I was saying, we're gonna go to Richard Lell and check mm -hmm. out his artwork and see what he is uh divining uh though this is uh off the thing so you are not technically channeling anything no. here. well because there's so much history here there's the ground is history I, I i for one i hear children and i i hear i i mean it's it's it's, it's phenomenal the man that was tapping i see him there there's a barmaid there's i mean it this house this land, this property, there's so much there that they're all practically screaming at me. So I could say, yeah, okay, I, I, I saw John Proctor, maybe I did. The, but the thing is, it's such a, it, it's so much energy that I decided that I would, I would do more of a story. Oh, oh, I'm fascinated by this trajectory. Uh, tell me the story I, I'm seeing right now what seems to be a horse rearing up? That well, it's a goat. It's a goat. Oh, I a mean, goat. unless horses have horns now, they might. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought it was a, uh, a feather of the Driage horses. Oh, uh, yes. I guess it could be. Right. Uh, I, you know, it, it's, but when I think back about the crucible and I think about the, the Salem witch trials and I think about how mass hysteria and that one is accused of witchcraft and they, they were dancing with the devil and, and everything was, was a sign that you were in play with the devil. Now, of course, we modern people, all of us would be accused of witchcraft today. Um, I know I would have, if I would have been in 1692, I would probably have been the very first one accused of witchcraft. I'm accused of witchcraft now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm sorry to hear that. I, I hope it's, uh, <laughs> you, you, if you dance with the devil in the pale moonlight, I think that's something. I think that's a thing. I don't know. Yeah. But if you yeah. if, if you if you in a, in a modern society, I'm still accused of, you know, oh, he's evil and of the devil. But, you know, they just don't take a chance to get to know. Right. But, you know, I, I, I can you imagine can you imagine what what Puritans would think of this mustachioed person who looks exactly like the devil? <laughs> I, well, devilishly handsome, shall we oh, say? You are so uh, kind. Flattery. Uh, 
So you are, uh, this is a narrative that you are painting with a goat. Uh, it is a narrative. I've got, I've got the Proctor house. You can't really see it. I'll try to tilt it down. I've got the startings of the Proctor house over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's going to be a little bit more of a story going on. There's going to be some more smoke and a heightened drama. As wow. the case were. Fantastic. Well, looking forward to that. Well, let's get back to Courtney, who seems to be now found her way to the basement. Is this? Oh, dear. So all bravery went out the window the second I opened the door to the basement because I didn't see it, but I felt like I opened the door and somebody was standing there. Oh, no. Um, and then I went into the pooped my way down the stairs, and now I'm down here in the dark, and I'm terrified. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so give us a sense of how much space you have. I mean, is it? Um, is it hold on. Let me put the light on real quick. Okay. And then I can show you. Is it colder down there, Courtney? Is, if, um, uh, oddly, it's really not. It's just, it's very stale. There's no air. No movement? Just... No. So, okay. So oh. these are the stairs that I just came down. I don't know if you can see, but this right here is like a little crawl. Like I have to like sit on my butt and come down. Oh, um, yeah. So that's the door up there. Whoa. And yeah. then... Sorry, I'm out of breath because I was rolling down the stairs. I don't know if you can see the marks <laughs> in the dust. Uh, and then the picture that was put up um, that was taken by Jason Baker. Um, let me get my flashlight because I don't think you can really see over here. But all of this stone around me, this is the original foundation. Right. And, oh. oh. Sorry. Give me one. Any Edward says it's not good. Be careful down there. Oh, well, that's good to know. Right? <laughs> Just a word of warning. There we go. Okay. So. Yeah. This is the creepy little staircase to nowhere. Oh. Um, not the one you came down. That's a different. That's staircase. not the one I came down. This is the one that that picture was taken in uh, by Jason Baker. And yeah. if you look at it. Um, he did it, the, the basement, I was down here with him when he took it, the basement was completely dark and he did a long exposure and back there, you can see sort of in the middle, you can see faces. Yeah. Like right, right. Like there yeah. in the photograph. Yeah. Where the spider webs um, are now. Right. But there's nothing, there's no, it's not like it's a window back there or anything. It's just right. nothing. Oh my God. It could oh. be a portal guys. Oh, great. Oh, my. Okay. I so... love when you say that. Sorry. I feel something weird down there, like someone's crouching and hiding. Okay. In that stairway? Um, Around that stairway. The but I feel is... like that could be a portal. The thing is about this, this cellar is it, I, I think you are right. It is a portal. Um, it, it originally was designed for storage, for food storage. Um, obviously, there was no refrigeration. So this is where you would you would keep your kills right. uh and then also for the for for the winter time so you would be it, there's there there is a lot of animal death here for one and then also if you are disturbing their food this is how they get through the winter time so there's a lot of energy down here there's a lot of and also you are you are closer to the earth and you are picking up on the cemetery that's nearby. You're picking up on, I, I mean, the, the, the trials that happened there in 1692. Right. There's a lot that is buried there in, in that part of the earth. And this There's is also a stream, uh, uh, like a brook behind the house. Behind the house. So we, have a water, we have a running water source, too. Does it go under? The <gasps> oh. Oh. What was that? Okay, I almost... What I was about to say, too, is that when I sat down, as soon as I turned off the light and sat down, in my head, I got, oh, no, don't make yourself too comfortable. And I was about to just say that, and that's what happened. Oh. Todd, get. give us a, a question we should ask now for Courtney to ask. Uh, Who's ever in the basement, can you come and touch that green light that Courtney's holding? Courtney, okay, if anyone's feeling. down in the basement, whoever's down here with me, touch this green light. 
It's going to change the color. Go ahead and touch it. Did you hear that breathing? Yeah. I, yeah. I breathe. I breathe. I don't was know. You, I don't know. Like, it doesn't sound like you. No, it, feels it like wasn't every like time it was I last breathe time. because I can't breathe right now. It feels like that heavy feeling again. I just heard a sound. I yep. hear it. Okay. I feel like they're what more. Was that? What was that? What was that, that was walking. Like a water droplet or something? I heard walking. Or tapping? I heard it in my speaker. Oh. What was that? <laughs> it was my phone. I thought I had it. Uh, <laughs> I, <didn't laughs> I, I don't know how to turn it. I thought I had I had put it on don't disturb it. I don't know how to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> the spirits are calling Richard Lale now. <laughs> I, know, I know. The spirit. I, I really thought I had it on silent. I am so sorry. <laughs> um, what I was going to say is I feel like we're apt to get more of a response. This is just like coming to me. We're apt to get more of a response like EVP wise if a male speaks to them instead of me. Oh. I think because right. if we're thinking about like the 16, 1700s, like they, I, you know. I, I oh, had this I thought. Uh, Courtney, I had this thought. Mm -hmm. uh, it, 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 these people are very, very religious. I mean, even even after the Salem witch trials, even after all of this, even into the 1800s, these people are in they they are Protestants. That that is what they do. And I had this thought to read from the King James Bible. So oh. let's let let's pull up something and see what we can do. Very uh, good. Let's think of um... the other Richard Lale. The other thing, too, is um, there's a, one of the ways that they could prove that they were not a witch, that they were not guilty of witchcraft is by reciting the Lord's Prayer. So George oh. Burroughs, one of the uh, he was a minister. He was accused of, of witchcraft and on the gallows. He recited the Lord's Prayer word for word and didn't make a mistake. And the sheriff said he's the devil. He gave himself the power to trick you so he's still a witch and then they, well, they execute him wow wow that's amazing that's, because it's amazing uh, i couldn't remember it because i'm i just couldn't remember it myself <laughs> right. yeah so i'm going to read it and please i remember it back to which you remember it yeah okay well i'm gonna read it you you could you could let's let's recite it together i'm gonna read okay all right okay our father our wait, father who art which, in heaven Hallowed be his Hallowed be thy name. Thy will be done. Oh. Um, wait, I'm sorry. I think I'm off. Oh. I, I bumped my mis Okay, here we go. I just heard I heard something. I heard something too. Hiding too. It's still there. It's hiding. Our Father, who art in heaven, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Be thy, name. thy kingdom thy come. come. Thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. From each temptation. Oh, for thine is the kingdom and the power, the power and the glory forever now and forever. Amen. Amen. I feel like every nerve in my body is standing at alert right now. Like, I don't feel like, usually I feel like I'm about to hear something. I feel like I'm about to see someone. I'm, I'm going to read from Revelation 21. Uh, oh, okay. Actually, I'm going to do it in the King James Version. Revelation okay. 21, King James. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with me, with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people and God himself shall be with them, and their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, 
and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he sat upon the throne, said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of water of life freely. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Okay, so two of my hard drives just kicked off again. I don't know how you did that. That is, what is behind you? Somebody sees something I'm, behind you. I feel something behind me. And somebody, uh, <sighs> Hayes says there's a female on the stair to nowhere. Where's that stairway from where you are? Right there. What's your K2 I meter doing? I feel it's, so it's, weird, guys. I know, me too. It's not doing anything. It's like, I feel like someone is just, is just going to like pop out. I feel like it's a dream right now. And like, <laughs> I'm so spacey. Like what's happening? But all my hard drives are kicking out again. I don't understand what, how I'm being affected as the host far away. This. Uh, okay. And somebody's hearing breathing and a voice. I'm hearing something on the speakers. Todd, are you hearing anything? I thought I heard a voice. I keep hearing a male voice every now and then. Um, and it's not you or me or Richard Lell. No. Okay. It's like hard to breathe in here. Like, I feel like there's like, when Richard Lell was redoing that reading, I felt like I had a nail in my throat. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Everybody who's joining us and watching us start recording uh, audio because we are all hearing things, but I don't think we are capturing. Oh, my I'm going to see on. if I can get my K2 and see if I can get anything. Did it kick off again, uh, Courtney? Yeah. Yeah. And everyone in the chat is pretty much saying the same thing. That somebody's um, standing behind you? Yeah, you're I hearing, can feel it. hearing stuff and the same stuff we're kind of hearing. Yeah. Can you turn around and just start filming from the opposite direction? Yep. Let me see. Hold on. I have to figure out how to turn my camera around. Or just hold your camera and turn it around. And, and turn and around. I can't see you guys, and I have no security blanket. <laughs> <laughs> it is called Scared Alone, Courtney. Okay. Yeah, but... All right. How's that? Okay, that's. I wonder. If, let me go put a K two over there. Okay. In the stairwell. Oh my god! Oh. I don't want to. Is this the stairway into nowhere? Or is this the stairway you came down? Oh my god! Oh my god! What? All, all the way around. Yeah. Todd, a question? Should we ask? Oh, it's cold. Cold spot. Yep. And if you're there with Courtney, thank you for lighting that up. Can you make a noise? Can you knock on something? Can you move something around, Courtney? Oh, Todd. <laughs> Don't talk to move things. <laughs> Sorry. Yikes. I went away. My heart is racing out of my chest. What, what's that? Oh, yours is? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, thanks, Haley. You're welcome. Todd I constantly, I don't know if everyone's hearing that and if you can hear it, Courtney, a breath, someone breathing every now and then. Yeah, yeah. It might be, it it might be me. It might be me. No. It, listen, listen for this. Hold on. Is it that? No, it's deeper. No, it's louder, too. Okay. Louder. Because I my mouth was near my speaker a second ago, but no, it, that was, I just put it right up to it and breathed, so. It wasn't you. It sounded way more deeper and louder. Well, it felt like when that was happening and Todd was telling me to move things, I felt like someone, again, was standing behind me. And, like, I keep looking. I kept looking at my lantern 
like my lantern's over here. There's like a shelf. And I kept looking right there. Like that was going to just knock off the shelves. Oh my God. And Nicole Stein Laurie heard a growl. Oh, great. It's on hers. Love that. <laughs> well, but so far, I mean, the meter jumps and then it, it disappears. So it's right. And I'm I, the meter right here. If it was anything like, organic that was making it happen like it's I, i'm in the same spot it would be still doing it right so it, it seems to be on the move and i really what i think it's hiding from you oh i've been feeling that from remember when i said i feel like something's crouching down and hiding oh Haley michelle let's follow that why would it be hiding is it fear or is it i i think it's curiosity oh. and fear what oh my gosh there it is again Haley, talk to it. Me? Haley, yes. yes. <laughs> okay, are you hiding? Don't be afraid. You can come out. Thank you for making that red. You can come out of hiding now. What? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I turned my phone off again. No, no, that was me. Another hard drive just kicked off. This is The way that this is lighting up is so weird. Do you want to be our friend? Can you make it turn red? Oh my gosh. Tabitha Meadows says it's not human. And Penny Edward says, I see it. Huh. Make my K2 go off too. Oh That's no. <laughs> what is it then if it's not human and someone could see it? Is it, do you guys not see that it's like, it's like moving in a heartbeat? Yeah. It's like pul pulsating, yeah. Pulsating at a And heartbeat. like the second light is brighter than all the other lights. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's actually uh, blinding the camera. Stop hiding and come out and play. Oh, oh, it didn't, didn't like to, that. Didn't come out and play. play. Did not want to play at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I wanted to come out again. <gasps> uh oh. What? Did you hear that? They sound like a little girl. Yes. Like, like, like humming. Like make or... a sound. Yeah, humming. Yeah. Is that the little girl hiding? That's I why I said come girl. out and play, because I almost felt like it was younger. I feel I feel like hands are on my throat right now. Oh, oh no. That's not you good. Can't, you cannot touch Courtney. You cannot Do not hurt touch her. her. Touch the light. Oh. <gasps> what? what? Did you hear it? Yeah. It sounded like something moving, something scraping. Something moved. Something moving, scraping. Like creaking or scraping. Yeah, it was. Oh, my God. There's been very few times on this show that I've almost said swear words, and that was one of them. <laughs> well, thank you for your restraint, I guess. It was, yeah, I know that feeling. It was hard with my investigation, for sure. Abbott Meadow says it's presenting like a black dog. Could that be? I do you know that there was dogs executed as witches familiars in the witch trials? What? Don't no, tell yeah. me that. Now I'm going to be depressed forever. That is sad. What do you mean dogs? How, how do you know a dog is satanic? I don't know. I guess they were acting weird. A huge black dog, says Tabitha Meadows. Is this what we're finding? Uh, I'm like shaking. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm terrified. Uh. Stop hiding and come out and play. Touch the light. Uh, how about use dog uh, here, boy? Come uh, on, come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's cats. Uh, <laughs> Say treat. Treat? I got a treat for you? No. Like I don't I think it's lying. actually a dog. What no, do you think I feel it like is? it's a kid hiding. I don't even think it's a kid. Really? I think when you were talking about that, I felt something's hands around my throat. Oh, uh, I don't, couldn't have been. A I little... need to sit down for a second. Oh my gosh. Down in there? Yeah, well, I have a chair down here. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I sit on the stairs that were... No, I'm not sitting yeah. on the stairs. You could not pay me at this point to sit on those stairs. Wow. Hey, Courtney? Yeah. Richard Lowe? I'll be on those chairs. I mean, what? 
I'll pay you to sit on the stairs. You know, <laughs> honestly, Richard Lill, all jokes aside, it's like a mountain of like God knows what dirt. Like with who, who knows what in it. You forgot well, to ask how much he'll pay you to sit on those. Yeah, let's talk an amount. <laughs> yeah, what are we talking? Five dollars, hundred dollars. I would definitely go five. Oh, come five. on, ten, I will. Okay. Not even you're, you're bending my head. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. There's not. There's the bottom is not stairs. The bottom is a pile of like dirt and dust from that's been there for how who knows how long. Okay, don't sit in the dirt. <laughs> and there's probably God knows what in it. Right. Particularly if dogs were executed. I mean, that is so sad. Well, not here, but on the property, I don't think. But right. that is, uh, but still, it's that energy. Oh, uh, my God. Okay. Should we just get out of here? This is really, tame. I'm almost afraid to leave. Like, I, I'm almost, have you ever had that feeling when you're in a basement? This used to happen to me all the time as a kid. And like, I would never walk calmly up the stairs. Yes, the you want to run. 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 And can't I run. can't run up these stairs. I have to crawl through them. Oh, my gosh. That is yeah, so you, scary. you can't escape quickly in that. That's there's. Uh -uh. Maybe there's you should keep us on. And Lauren Schmidt says there's somebody standing beside you, right next to you. Great. She's feeling that. Oh, and when Richard Lale was considering how much money he was going to pay me to sit on the stairs, my flashlight started flickering. <laughs> oh, no. They like the they like the bets. They the like money. the bets. <laughs> right. Well, it was a tavern. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh my god, uh, that's so creepy. Well, you're going to stay on with us when you Winnie the Pooh up the stairs. No, it's but so embarrassing. Be embarrassed. Well, you got two or get you stay down I there. Know, I don't know what to do. I'm just going to have to live down here forever and be the basement <laughs> troll. Well, I'm going to come visit you sometime. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be me haunting the basement from now on. Oh no. <laughs> that's terrifying. No. All right, <laughs> where do you want me to go next? Uh, why don't we try the attic? I think. What was that? Oh, oh my God. Okay. What that. is that walking? And I got a sharp, sharp pain in the back of my neck. Yeah. And I'm hearing. There's something, <gasps> behind, something behind you. Oh. Are we oh. hearing that on our speakers? I hear it. What is that? It doesn't want you to go to the attic and it doesn't want you to leave. And I don't want to go to the attic. Be careful. Either, My thing just went off. Okay, let me better keep this up here. Your key two went off too, Haley? Yes, and something stabbed my back. It felt like I got stung by a bee. Like, right, it hurts so bad. It still hurts. Right, as all that sound was happening. That hurts so bad. Oh, oh no. Was that your breath? Whose breath was that? It might have been mine. That exhale? Okay. Maybe. You guys, I feel like every time I look around, I'm going to be looking in somebody's face. Yeah. I don't think you should talk about getting out of there. I think you should just do it because they don't like that. Right. Let's not discuss your exit plan. You exit. We'll just go to Richard Lell and see what Okay. Well, see. stay with me at least while I turn the light back on because... Sure. This is a lot. It is a lot. It is. It is. Oh, God. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is terrifying. What? Okay. Right before the light turned on, I saw someone right by my chair. It was like, because I just screwed the light bulb in because I, I can't reach the light switch, so I unscrewed it. And it like flickered. And when the flicker happened and it turned, the light turned on and went off, I saw someone standing right here. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Haley Castanella says, you've invited this thing to follow you, so tell it to go away uh, or not follow you, whatever you've invited. You do not give it permission to follow you. You did not give it permission. It's going to follow you well, I mean, to the attic or something. If it's here, it's in the house. Correct. Yeah, you're gonna have to sage before you leave tonight to go home. And right. guess what? You don't have it. Fun fact: I'm not leaving. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you spending the night there? Oh, yeah. I'm staying here. Ah. Even, even better. Fantastic. Tomorrow, wow. whenever you leave, you have to sage and tell whatever's. There's something. 
Are you going to Instagram your night again, like on TikTok, like you did at the other place? At the probably. Okay, we'll follow you. But oh, real quick before I go upstairs, I meant to say this earlier. Haley was talking about the doll, right, yeah. from yeah. last week or two weeks ago. Yeah. After I got off my Instagram and I started to fall asleep, I. I was thinking how weird it was that I had gone to the closet and just picked up the doll. Every time you guys try to make me pick up the doll, I say no. And I fight. No, you. yeah. And that time I just picked up the doll and I was half asleep. And I, in my head, I was like, I forgot my baby. I have to go get my baby. And I could feel it in my arms. And I sat up and to go get it. And the sitting up woke me up. And I was like, what am I doing? I'm not going to get the baby. And I heard walking outside my door all night. Come on. And there was a baby. <laughs> I visited his grave earlier that day and I forgot about, about it. Baby Levi, who was born and died on the same day. And the nurse carried his lifeless body and paced the hallway outside my door. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. So. <clears throat> a historic fact. Yeah. And that was the doll. And that's the doll we see now in Haley's. View. And that's why I've been looking at it all night. So I think I'm extra on edge because of that. So. Oh, that's man. why I wanted her on here today. She has a lot of connection with everything. She had a lot of connection. And she was turning your lights on and off and cutting your audio. Right. And wrecking everything till Sunday. And you know what's weird? That really horrible sharp pain I had was right yeah. here. And she is right here. Seriously, oh. right. Oh, my God. Look at her. She's giving you the stink eye. I know. <laughs> You guys, you can see her right here. It looks yeah. like she's looking at me, but she's, she's not really looking at me. She's not happy about right. it. She's I not know. looking at me at all. I all right, guys, it's going to take me a couple minutes to get to the attic, so okay. wish me luck. I'll see you when I get there. Good luck. Good luck. What's also weird is from two years or two weeks ago, the expression on the doll's face seemed more anguished. Right now, it seems not a uh, happy doll, but more uh, concerned. Like, like uh, am I reading the expression into the doll face. It's or, so spacey. Like, yeah. Like, what's going on? Type thing. Yeah. Oh, it looks like it. I didn't notice in the beginning. I have to go back over this. It looks like it's looking at you now. And it wasn't. I don't know if it was in the beginning. I didn't notice in the beginning. Oops, and it, yeah. when I look at it, I don't see it. But when in the camera I look, it does look like she's looking at me. Yeah. 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 But it's also the expression is changing every time you reposition it. Well, yes, so that has been known. <laughs> Oh my gosh, don't put it closer to the camera. The she wants to see you. I don't want to see it. <laughs> and you have transferred the energy from that other place into that doll that just wrecked all your electronics. I'm trying to That's keep my like hard drives online here. Well, Dean, Haley, I was just awesome. trapped on those stairs with that doll staring at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I was sorry. full Winnie the Pooh. I was trapped. <laughs> you looked at your phone and saw looking at you oh my god todd what were you gonna say about the doll <laughs> what i was gonna say is i uh, earlier someone had said in the chat we should have a scared out alone at your house <laughs> going on. <laughs> to do all my electronics and see my robot vacuum half yeah. my place and stop for no reason on a bulk you guys have going on yeah i don't know if i need that really but we are planning to do a road trip of uh uh, perhaps picking everybody up from the show and driving down to the most haunted fire station in Key West, Florida. That would be a fun scared alone. Why episode. did no one tell me about this? Uh, we're just discussing it now. This is a okay. on air production meeting. Uh, we They're rare, but we have them. Richard, well, let's really go to cool. you and see how the painting is progressing. Oh my gosh, that goat. Holy terrifying. Well, I know. <laughs> Everything was evil. Everything, everything was evil. So I've got up here. It's really difficult to see, but I've got 1692 written in the, in the top, and then I have the the Proctor House, and I have a gathering of, a, well, a coven of witches, right? As the case were, and they seem to be summoning a large black goat. Oh, from the netherworld. Wow, that is a narrative. Unlike you've ever painted before, uh, Richard Lell, I'm going to say, often you focus directly on the building, but this uh, uh, tops a lot of that. Well, and thank you. It's, it's really, again, it's about all of the history that this particular property holds, all of the death, all of the, all of the laughter, all of the drinking, all of the, pardon the word, all of the sex that has happened here, all of the 
all of the fighting, all of the loving, all of the hating, all of the fear, it's all sort of coalescing in one space in this house. It's, it, it comes from the hills, it comes from the cemetery, it comes from the stream. It's, it, it, it's a very haunted space. Right. It's, it's fantastic. Thank Richard you Lale, so I, this one feels, I don't know why, it feels one of more your darker paintings for some reason. And it, it, it is a little bit of a darker painting. Yeah. It is a there's, so much, darker. There's, there's so much going on with it. Um, well, it, again, it was, a, it was a very, it was a dark time. Mind mm -hmm. you, they, these people were incredibly religious and their fervor to try to serve the God that they knew led them to accuse people to death uh, as of witchcraft reasons that they left England was that it was it was it was too it was too catholic for even for, for even them uh -huh. and and they they wanted a new world and they thought that this was god's granting them a, of a new existence a heaven on earth and it turns out that of course winters happened and crops failed and cows died and children died and along the way they needed someone to blame because the fact that nature exists was too hard for them. Right. Right. That makes a lot of sense. So, and even they Haley went crazy. Some of them went crazy. They did crazy things to human beings. Yeah. To other human beings right? for no reason. You know, it's, it's insane. It's insane. So now, uh, Courtney, you are now up in the attic. Is that correct? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, right. we can hear you. How was your I journey up? Um, I had some connection issues. I don't know if it's the signal up here or what. But um, when I said earlier that stuff was already happening, yeah. this is where it was already happening. There's oh. someone sitting in that chair behind you. What? I saw someone sitting in a chair behind you. The rocking chair? Yeah. Then oh. I just saw a flashing light happen right after you said oh. that. <laughs> okay. So uh, and earlier, it's, it's a maid up there. Oh, I was up here earlier. Yeah, in the dark, and I was trying to see what was, see if I could stir some stuff up, see if anybody yeah. was up here. Um, and let me give you a quick, quick tour. So this is yeah. the attic. These here, uh, this is the stair I just came up from. Yeah. This door goes to like the eaves, inside the eaves of the house. Same with um, this door right here. Right. And that opening right behind my head right there. And then over this way, I don't know if you can really see them, but there's two small rooms. Yeah, what are those? Just like little bedrooms. Um, so I'm and sitting right in front of those. But I was up here earlier and I was I had the light off. And I was in one room and I came out to go into the other room and I heard a noise from like back here and the floor, the floor up here does make a lot of noise, but it didn't sound like that. It sounded, I said in the moment, it sounded like a grinding noise. Yeah. And when I turned the lights on, that door was open about an inch more than it was uh, when I turned the lights off and it's like stuck on the floor. So when you pull it, it drags on the floor and makes like a grinding sound. Oh, so it couldn't just been the wind or something. It had to actually have uh, actual pressure against its unevenness to the hardwood floor. Right. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh -oh. And it's not seen it. Um, I know I'm out there, but I feel a lot more better about this room than the other one. I've done the, the basement, basement, of course. Yes, I feel a lot more like calmer and relaxed. And someone's in there like that wants to be a friend, like hang out with you. I'm, I, I'm going to agree with you right now. And then the minute we turn the lights off, that's going to change. <laughs> yeah, totally. Because, yeah. well, last time we did this uh, on Ghost Hunt, National Ghost Hunting Day, I was up here. And so let me turn this around now. Um, okay. Oh, look, they're excited. I'm going to tell the story. Um, this doorway right here. Oh, wow. I'm getting like orange and red readings right now. Oh, no. Um, you see this? Oh, yeah. Look at that. So I'm sitting on the floor, right? Right. I had the lights off. And from right here in this doorway, right here, 
a face at my eye level peeked out right in front of me. Oh, I just scared my own self. <laughs> see my face like this? Yeah, you always see your face. <laughs> me too, actually. I just so scared myself, but that's what that. it did. It went like this, like right in front of my face, right there. Um, oh my gosh. Wow. My okay. nostrils. I scared my, myself with my nostrils. That was good. So Haley Castanella says that the maid will answer your questions because she seems to know you, Courtney. Uh, was this from the last time you were here, perhaps? I'm here a lot. Um, and I'm going to tell you that every time I'm here, something happens. So right. it's like I get here and they're like, oh, she's here. Like, let's bang on the wall or let's walk around on the floor. Let's no. I see shadows all the time. Um, well Let's assume it's a maid and it's in the rocking chair behind uh, your left shoulder. And okay. let's ask questions. Do we have a name? Anybody, anybody think of a name? Uh, nobody's coming up with a name on the chats. All right. Uh, Haley, are you sensing a name of any sort? I'm feeling a K name. Um, Catherine? Catherine oh. or Katrina, something I might be Catherine, but it, yeah, that's just what I'm feeling. Okay. All right. Is there, if you're here with me, can you make a sound that we all can hear? What was that? My chair squeaking. <laughs> oh, well, mute, mute, my friend. What? Every now right. and then, I'll see a, a light flash or blink, by the right? chair. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. okay. So, what's I, that? I can debunk that. This okay. outside this window is a main road. Oh, okay. Ah, so okay. the light that you're seeing scares me every time, but it's the headlights they, they <laughs> shine it. up onto like over here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. We got that right. out of the way. only because I've been taken in by that multiple times where it's, right. it's scared the daylights out of me. It's time right. to show up the light. Haley. <laughs> <laughs> I have one minute of peace. Well, yep. just just remember this for next week when I'm doing this. Oh great. Well okay. <laughs> I thought we were friends now. We are. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay. Nope. See, our, I don't like it. <laughs> Immediately, that comfortable feeling is gone. So true. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, I feel like I'm going to start seeing things at any moment. That's me breathing. Okay. Okay. <sighs> who's, ever, who's ever hiding in the attic, can you go touch that green light or make a noise and let Courtney oh. know you're there? Yep. Get out of the chair. Look at that. Make it go red. I feel like it when I talk to them, I baby it. Do you know, have you heard, heard me say that? Like, oh, make it go yeah. red. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> it did it. It's an orange getting to red. It got real still in here. Turn red for us so we know you're here. Shine your light on the chair for a moment. I don't know if it's going to reach that far, but. Can we sit right. in your rocking chair? Make it go red if we can. I, am I hate to say that. this, but I thought I saw a shadow figure in the doorway. Oh, Todd. <sighs> Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me. What? Uh, oh, I saw it again. Ask, uh, ask if it, the, the name again. Ask her name again. Uh, can you tell us your name? Is it Catherine? I just saw something over here. Did somebody growl? No, I heard that, but it wasn't me. Oh, okay. I don't, must not be Catherine. I don't like you. You're keeping your back open, your neck and stuff. That's how you can get attachment. Okay. Oh, that, please don't ever say that out loud again. <laughs> God, you stress me out. I don't have out. a choice up here. There's nowhere else for me to go. I cannot with you guys. You're so funny. Oh my god, I'm just terrorized every second. 
We're gonna do Richard Lil breathing at the end, I hope. And then that yeah, will make it so you're gonna yeah, you're gonna yeah. have to do something. It might what? be a half hour of breathing. And we're gonna That's end fine. That's... I'm place... gonna do it all night. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Courtney, there's a place that you can go. Um, I seem to remember there was an opening that went upwards to the other attic or something, wasn't there? Oh, oh isn't there, Richard Lale, directly above my head? Yes, that one. Is that where you are? Mm-hmm. Oh. Good, good. Okay, good. What is that? Right above too has a lot to say about that. Oh, my gosh. What Don't is that? Come up and play. I'm not going totally up there. Right. Please stop saying that. <laughs> yeah, there is. Well, what, Courtney, what if you were to lie flat down on your back and look up at it and say hello? <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I'm not. Uh, but Courtney's taking notes. I believe we all are in agreement, even though. Is this, is this scared and alone or scared and call an ambulance because I'm going to have a heart attack? <laughs> it's, Yeah. Well, you're not a, technically. We are. If you are so scared you have a heart attack, we will call an ambulance. But lie down, stare up. <laughs> at I thought um, with, when David wasn't going to be here that I wasn't going to have to lie on any floors. Yeah, we okay. all learned a lesson from David P. Sloan. I but don't I you feel blue, exhausted? A blue light behind you. There's a blue light behind you. A blue light. I see the I green. See green. Center. I see the green one now. There's a blue one on the right of your shoulder, Courtney. Oh yeah, there's um, it's it's plugged into the wall. Something, uh, it's like, I think it's one of those like, right there. Oh, that. Yeah. Okay. It's something plugged in. They're okay. all around. There's like three of them. Okay. There's so. I feel uh, like the second I lay down, things gonna sit on me or stand on me. I don't feel like okay. it's anything bad. I don't. Didn't say it was bad. But it's gonna be bad. Yeah, for but me. they won't do it. They won't. They won't be like, "Ooh, oh let's just go lay on this girl." Haley Castanella says she's right next to you. And great. Uh, if it lies down with me and we are unmarried, it's a sin. <laughs> yep, it's a sin. So don't do it. Okay. Yeah. Good point. That's a way to get around it. Haley Castellano okay. says, "I'm getting a Mary as a name. Is that Mary there?" I'm staring up at the hole in the ceiling. Hello. Okay. okay. I feel like one of my ears is underwater. Okay. Oh, Hold on. No, this is a very weird feeling. Half of the right half of my face, the side that the light is on. Yeah. It feels like it's being pushed into the floor. Oh my gosh. Like somebody's pushing it down. Yeah. You were oh right about someone wanting to sit on you and hold you down. No, like there's, it's just that half of my face and it feels like, it's like gravity times like a million, but just that side of my face. I, it's so hard to explain. It's not even like something's pushing me, maybe, but like something's pulling me down. Wow. Okay. Get off of her. I feel like something's on you now. Tell him to get off. Tell him to get, get off. off of you. I did not consent to this. We are unmarried. Well, that's a sin. <laughs> I want. I mean, this is weird, but I for a second there it looked like your face. Actually, did you see that, Haley? Her face looked yeah. like it. I didn't. I looked Orn. away. It, was it looked different. like what? It was well, distorted. It was like it distorted. That's what it felt like, Todd. On yeah, your left, yeah. your left side, though. Well, we have it filmed, yeah, it so I'd love like, to see that. It felt like this side was being like melted down into the floor almost. Look, what it looked like for a second. Everybody say Nerf Miner or Nerd Miner. What? It said, everybody's hearing, hearing the term uh, nerd or nerf minor. Is that a term? Do we know what that is? <clears throat> from the 60, I, I'm not uh, aware of my slang from uh, 15th century America. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not sure. Okay, ask a question. Who was pulling me? What the heck? What the heck was that? Do we hear that? I did. I it was like a big was... bang. And then it was like, yeah. Ah. yeah. And it echoed. Yeah. I didn't hear that at all. Okay. It came through two of our speakers. Todd, did you it hear that? Have... At all? Yeah, I heard it. I wonder if my speaker picked it up, but like, I didn't. Could that be an EVP? It could be. I hear someone walking around you.
Ask if there's a minor. Everybody's got a mine, a minor going on. Is there a minor in the space with you? Is there a minor here? Is You're someone fidgeting something? Yeah. I don't hear any of that. It sounds like someone doing this. Yeah. yeah like hearing. Yeah. Rubbing. Are you moving at all, Courtney? Or are you completely still? No, I'm still. Oh. What was that? What was that? Everybody can remain calm. That was my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> we all Thank thought a demon you. came wow. out. <laughs> Holy! I was going to say, get up and run now. There's a yeah, demon. That was like a out. It was out. Run! <laughs> it was the ghost of the food I ate earlier. Oh, oh no! Oh more my gosh! That was I'm so dying. Funny. Oh. I took a, I took a couple of flakes of diet coke on my way up here, and it, that was what that was. Rumbling you said everybody can just calm down right about calm now. Calm down. You get we're all like, oh, just on the edge of our seats. <sighs> Debunked. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so you're looking up at that uh, attic crawl space. Yeah, let me, oh my God. Oh. So the energy's right above you. I was just about to turn the camera and show you and then it got upset with me. Yeah. So I'm gonna do what? it, hold on. Okay. Uh, can you see it? Yeah. K2 is on orange. And how far, how high is that ceiling? Is it just a like a 10 or is that like a 20 It's foot? very high. It's very I high? Don't, I don't, I'm not good at estimating. And is it open or is that a, a piece of wood covering it? That's a piece of wood covering it. Hold on. I'm, sorry, my camera moved. Um, there's a piece of wood over it. Here. Look at this. I'll show you again. I don't know why my camera keeps doing that. Yeah, that's weird. Can you see it? Yeah, that's a single piece of wood. It seems just There's like a... Two pieces a, of wood. I see one. Is the other one darker? They're, over, that... they're overlapping. And they're like two by sixes kind of thing? Sort of uh, flat? I can't really tell. They look like... It's just like pieces of plywood. Okay. But there's a whole that that's like a whole storage like sorry my camera keeps changing angles i can't see what it's doing um it's like a crawl space up there like there's um like you can do storage and people have had ev uh there was another show that was here that got evps up there oh Courtney. really i have an idea i have Richard a Bell, idea. yeah i have an idea I've been, yeah i want courtney for you to say I'm a witch. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I'm a witch. <gasps> witch. 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 She admitted witch. it. Which witch is which? Uh oh. Oh my god. Sometimes Wait. I think that, like, that's what they're afraid of. That's happening right now. Because you Haley have something witchy. Said, mm -hmm. A male voice just said, "I will crush you." That seems well, ominous. I wouldn't be the first one. <laughs> well, historically, that's accurate. Yep. Wow. Which, which? Look at that. Do oh, do me a favor, too. I know you're in the dark, and I know you have your hands kind of full with a phone. Uh, do do me a favor and make the, the horned magus. It's it's actually, in, in Jewish mysticism, it, it means it's a blessing and driving away evil spirits. Ah. But, but do this because... In Puritan America, that meant something different. So do this and say, I am a witch. Oh. I am a witch. That was not convincing, Courtney. <laughs> not convincing. Okay, she sounded like a cheerleader. As soon as I did oh, that, it got very angry feeling in here. I did. Yeah. I heard something move, too. Before I even said it out loud, I could feel it again. Like, oh God, it's it's happening again. 
Like witch, this side witch, of my face. She's a witch, witch, witch. She's a witch. Oh my god. <laughs> Admitted, like I feel Courtney, like my ear is going to start bleeding. Courtney, oh. are you in league with the devil? Say yes, you are. Yes, I am. <gasps> uh -uh. Hail Satan. <gasps> <laughs> too far, Courtney, too far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, what's going up in the attic right now? If you turn that or Do you see anything up there? You're showing the light on yourself. I'm afraid to look because I keep feeling like there's somebody in here. Um, I'm also afraid I'm not going to be able to get up off the floor. I thought I heard whispering there. I can't really Sorry, see. that was me. Who was that? <laughs> it was me. Hold on. <laughs> Let me what get up. Really? Oh, oh, Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <gasps> okay. What was that? I just thought I saw a face. Where? Oh, my God. Yeah, because this was you, said, red. you said hail, you know oh. what? Hail it's, Satan. It's Matt. Oh, I can't even. I didn't mean it. <laughs> um, little I'm sorry. Children, I'll take <laughs> you away oh, into the land. Into the, into the land. What's happening with this show? I'm, I'm the host. Everybody, stop that. <laughs> you are terrifying me. <laughs> okay. Courtney, do you want me to do a little ghost box? Yes. Are you up there? You got one? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, this is a newer one I got from the UK uh, last week. So, first oh, time cool. using it. Sure. Let's uh, turn it on. Hello. You are trapped inside. I think it's Courtney. <gasps> Is Courtney safe where she's at? UK two. No, it's a no. No. UK two is going out. Should she leave? Get out. Yes. Is she able? Yeah. If she, I heard able, she was. What? What? Bad. Are you gonna get the witch? Radio. Yeah, this is a radio. Decorated. Get the witch. Get the witch. Is there a witch there with Courtney right now? She is. Yes. Yeah, me. It's me. They think it's me. She is the witch. Oh. Do you want her it to go downstairs? Up. I think you can't go up. Can you? Oh. Remember when we did uh, we, when we did Shakespeare? Yeah. What if we did that same soliloquy again? Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. Hello. What if we did that? Hold From on, though. I want to. I want to say one thing. If there's any Puritans up here, you don't need to be afraid of me because I am not the witch. I said the Lord's prayer. I am a witch, so if you want to come over to my end, <laughs> I mean, it's Indiana. Haley, come Haley, on, so am I'm I, trying but to they don't need to know yeah, that. Oh, okay. The sense that they well, I'm just think. trying to help you, you know, get them to come over here. Did you hear All right, that? Let's do yeah. right, double, double, oh, twelve, twelve. I swear to God, I saw a shadow in front of me. It was like knocking. Yeah. Over here. Let me turn the camera around. Did you hear that knocking? Yeah, yeah, it came from in here. Wait, my speakers too. Where's that coming from? It came from this room. What room is that? That's the room, one of the little bedrooms that's right in front of me. The K2 is going off. Can you see it? Yeah, this is, is that the one that I saw the shadow in before. And the face. And then I scared myself when I was showing you with my own face. I saw something right by the window, 
and then that's where I heard the the sounds coming from. And the K2 is going off too. Mine is around my doll. And what's that tapping? I don't know. Who said that? That was me. <laughs> because she said, what was that tapping? I said, I don't know. Oh, my Wait, God. So Haley, don't whisper. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that was so scary. I heard it, too, and I was so like, oh, my God. It's Sorry. Okay, Richard Lowe, you wanted to say Macbeth? Mm-hmm. I want you to say it. Oh, good. Of course, yeah. <laughs> okay, double, so continuously double, going off. Trouble. Going off. Fire burn and cauldron bubble. Fire burn and cauldron bubble. Okay, I heard a voice there. Is that you, Haley, again? Nope. Todd, you heard that? Yeah. It's coming from Courtney. It's coming from it's coming from inside the house. Yeah. I think I think I think that's why I'm not hearing it cuz my my microphone is picking it up. I'm going to try it again cuz that seemed to get it going a little bit. Right? Double double toil trouble. Fire, burn, cauldron, bubble. That was better. Mm -hmm. It's like, why is it so dark? I know. My flashlight was reaching back there earlier. Yeah, we, it's just sucking all the light out. And I'm. You're actually I'm getting here. darker on the screen almost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like everything's getting darker in your area. Do you even have your flashlight on? Oh, wow. I was turning it this way, but it's I, like. It's not I reaching can't see it at I can't all. See it. We can't even see anything behind you now. Double, double, toil and trouble. Fire burn and cauldron bubble. Fill it a fenny snake in the cauldron. Boil and bake. Eye of newt and toe of frog. Wool of bat and tongue of dog. Adder's fork and blind worm's sting. Lizard's leg and howlet's wing. For a charm of powerful trouble. Like a hell brought what? boil and bubble. Double, double. Toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. Cool it with a baboon's blood, then the charm is firm and good. Okay. There was something red by your hand, Courtney, that I came my on my flashlight. screen. Oh, is, is it red itself? Yeah. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. So it's reflecting some other Emmy. Yeah, I light. have a, a lantern here too. Oh yeah, okay. <clears throat> and with two lights on, it's pitch black. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we can't see anything and, and your face is even... Uh, but earlier, I could at least, I don't know if you guys could see it, but when I was shining my light back this way, I could see everything. Like my flashlight was reaching Yeah, it was wall. lighting up the wall. Courtney. Yeah. That's how I saw the shadow figure in the doorway. Right. When you turn, <gasps> turn off your figures. lantern. Oh, God. What? We're already lacking light. If we don't have the lantern, we don't always see. I know, but her K2 meter will be there. Okay. Oh, my gosh. A floating dot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Courtney. Yes. Add some light. What are you seeing? Are you seeing anything in the dark? I'm seeing dark. Is your eyes adjusted? A little bit. <laughs> Can you see the chair that the uh, potential maid was sitting in? Yeah. Can you guys see it? Well, your K2 keeps oh. going up. Yeah, it's jumping. But we are you shining the light on the chair? Is it behind I, you or in front of you? Yeah, it's behind me across the room. And again, it's like it's sucking the light out of the, out of the room. 
That's so weird. It's pitch black. Just when oh, you shine yeah. the light directly on your face, it sort of we sort of get an outline of your face. You can turn it back on now. But that's all it's lighting. You, it's just like a secondary key light. It's that was that's all that's doing is lighting my face up. But it's like yeah. I see what Todd's talking about. Even my face looks darker on the screen. Yeah. yeah. Something just touched me. Like what? I don't know. Down on my hip. Tabitha Meadows says it's a huge dog-like creature again. Where? What is this dog? I don't know. Did it come from the basement? It's probably revenge from the dogs they executed. Oh, gosh. Who was sad they... about that? It's the black goat that Richard Lyle is painting right now. Oh, oh my. Oh, black Philip. Richard Lyle. Now, like, you... live deliciously. You summoned a <laughs> dog-like creature. It is kind of a dog-like creature. It, it kind is. Of is. Oh. oh, my gosh. Now I'm nauseous. Oh no. I love that movie and I'm so scared right now because, <laughs> right? because Richard Lyle said it just the right way. <laughs> and I'm afraid I'm gonna turn the flashlight around and see the goat's face next to me and it's gonna whisper oh. that in my ear. She's gonna punch it. <laughs> oh, no. I would like to live deliciously. <laughs> okay, it's so creepy. Oh. Oh, okay. What it wants me to live deliciously. I will. Please, she will. Me I'll do it. Whatever you say. Okay. I wonder Perhaps. if I. Here's the thing, okay? Yeah. Think about it. Everything that we're doing right here to someone who lived through 1692, I mean, yeah. you know, the family and whatever, and, and they lost people and it was really terrible. Yeah. For accusations of witchcraft, not actual witchcraft. And everything that we're doing right now to them would seem like actual witchcraft. So what if I renounce Satan? Ah. Okay. I'm not a witch. I renounce Satan. I, I would not like to live deliciously. You have to re-recite the Lord's Prayer, dear, but this time it's you. All right. Our Father... Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Okay, your K2 meter is quiet. Can we be friends now? What if we read it backwards? Oh. <laughs> Richard Lael. Richard Lael. That's terrible. That's... Well, let's just do it. Let's just see what happens. It's still okay. the Lord's Prayer. It feels uh, lighter in here a little bit. Oh. Uh, yeah. Not like, like physically lighter. Not obviously it's still dark, but let's do it. Let's do it backwards. Okay. Are you ready, Courtney? I, I don't know it backwards, and I don't you have don't anything have to, to read it. You don't have to, but we're going to say it. You, you can repeat it after me if you want. <laughs> do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? All right. Amen. Amen. Ever and ever for. Ever and ever for. Glory the and. Glory the and. Look at it. They don't like it. Yeah, no. Glory the Power, oh, the, power the power the power the oh. kingdom the is thine for kingdom the is thine for I saw something again oh, evil no. from us deliver but evil from us deliver but I feel like my ear is gonna start bleeding again it's doing that oh, no looks like oh, no. someone's pulling my ear temptation uh, yeah. into not us lead and Temptation into us not lead and, and us against trespass, us against trespass, who those forgive we as, who those forgive we as, trespasses our us forgive and, trespasses our us forgive and, and. bread daily our. 
Bread daily hour. Day this us give. Day this us give. Heaven in is it. Heaven in is it. As earth on. As earth on. Done be <gasps> will thy. What was that? Done be will thy. Done be will thy. Come kingdom thy. Come kingdom thy. Name thy be hallowed. Name thy be hallowed. Heaven in art which. Heaven in art which. Father our. Father our. Ugh. Did everybody hear that when that happened? Yeah. Yeah. That was in the room right in front of me. That was here. That was not on my speaker. That was there? Okay. And was there anything in front of you? You saw any shapes or anything? No, but that's where I've been seeing shapes. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that that we did that backwards is a way of backing out of the attic. This is too terrifying. And many of our commenters are getting nauseous and sick at this experience. Uh, Here's the thing. I have to say that I feel like I keep having, I was thinking this the whole time we were doing this. I'm just going to say it out loud because it kept repeating over and over my head. And then I heard that noise. Like it's just words. Those are just words. Right. We just said words in an order, a different order. I don't know why, like, I don't know if that's like coming to me. Like, I, I don't know what that is, but I just, I felt overcome with like that thought. It's just words. I Okay. Todd, what's your suggestion? I honestly think you should probably get out of there. Um, really? I don't know. I think that it's, I'm starting to feel sick a little bit now. Something's changed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, well, why don't we head to the kitchen uh, and sort of end there? Uh, Courtney, do you need to be, how about turn on the lights first off? Yeah, let me turn on the lights before I go anywhere. Hold on. I think once that darkness started to surround you, just I mean it was thick. That's yeah, it was thing. thick and it's heating up all your light. And I mean, what's your battery levels on everything? Are you, are you still good, or did it drain all the energy off everything? Um, I can't even tell, honestly. I haven't gotten a notification yet, so I okay. think it's good. But so I'm at least I have at least twenty percent still. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was. That's the thing is like. Well, let's let's head to the kitchen and 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 wrap up down there, uh, because uh, now I'm terrified. <laughs> I lost all my hard drives. I feel nauseous. And... <laughs> I feel like what we just did it was like like asserting dominance over whatever that darkness was. Right. That's what it felt like I was doing while I was saying that. Yeah. Because the, whatever that was, was it was like creeping up on me, like that, that it was like sucking all the light out. Haley, did that doll's eyes move behind you, by the way? <gasps> it, was, it was looking forward. Now it's looking to the, our left, your right. I, like, I do feel like she moved. Um, and that's been going, the kid has been kind of going off too. Yeah, but the, when you pointed to the camera, the eyes were directly for us. Now it looks like it's, it's a, got a right side glance. That's so. I know. It doesn't look like that when I'm looking at her, though. She looks, okay. She's looking straight towards you guys. Can we just get Harmony on camera instead or something? That's what. <laughs> you want Harmony now? Yeah, I do, actually. Okay. <laughs> she's just right here. Okay, let's do that. Let's go to Richard Well while you're Can changing that up. Say goodbye to her? Richard, yes, say goodbye to the terror. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, I think she's such a beautiful baby. I oh, there her. you go, Richard L. Yes, thank you. Let's. We let's always have to be it. nice to the babies. <laughs> yes. Show us what your work. Oh my gosh! Look at this. So, as you see here, um, I have I have this goat creature being summoned by by a group of five, mm -hmm. and uh, we've got the John Proctor House here. We've got the date, sixteen ninety two right up at the top, which is nice. funny because it's really difficult to see it in the camera, but when I'm sitting here, I can absolutely see that it says 1692. Uh, so 
it seems so abstract actually like part of the clouds yeah but it's it's actually strangely i wonder if i can get a little bit closer maybe you might be able to see you can oh yeah there it is there it is oh yeah yeah oh, 1692 and yeah. then we've got We've got all of the, the, the witches here in front of John Proctor's house, and they're right. summoning the devil, as the case were. <laughs> or, or the perhaps, dog-like creature. It doesn't necessarily uh, have to be. It doesn't have to be a dog. It doesn't have to necessarily be a goat. It's just right. some familiar that was being tortured or kept murdered for being a witch's familiar. Fantastic. I almost feel like it's half man, half goat of some, for some reason. I don't know why. I think it could very well be. Um, you know, it is, it, it, we're, we are dealing with a crucible here. So uh, ah. it, it's, a, it's a melting pot. As the case. Is that what crucible means? I actually never actually broke That's down. What it means. It's, a, it's a pot for, it, it, from, if memory serves, it's a pot for, for reaching things, for, for pushing things together. It's like a pressure cooker, but it's ah. not, it's, it, it's before that. It's like, but it's like, it's, it's, it's the thing that you use in the furnace that, Oh, that's the crucible. That's oh, crucible. fantastic. Well, we got Courtney back with us. She's in the kitchen. Uh, Courtney? Listen, I'm going to tell you, I love this house. And I love the spirits that I've come in contact with yeah. uh, inside this house. And whatever was going on out there did not feel like it was part of the house. So I had a little moment before I came downstairs where I said the Lord's Prayer the right way. I apologize for disrespecting if I if they felt disrespected and I said it was all you know just an experiment just to see what we were dealing with and that I did a little cleansing up there to sort of shoo out whatever that was that didn't belong here if it came down here with me then it came down here with me but at least like that was I just I didn't I didn't feel like it belonged here wow uh, okay. And it was like I was compelled to do that upstairs before I came downstairs. I like couldn't leave until I did. Right, and uh, yeah. Well, we're glad you did that. You seem shaken. Uh, <laughs> and people... <laughs> I was like, I was afraid that if I didn't do that, like it was, it. it I, I think it was Todd saying that the, my back being open to that darkness, like, it, it, like the attachment thing. Yeah. And that dog that people keep seeing doesn't feel like something from here so i just felt like i had to clear that out whatever that was it was okay. i didn't feel good up there i was starting to feel what everybody else was feeling right um, funny thing I'm about that show, courtney i know it's a different it's a different it's a different part of the world but uh son of sam remember that where um, he he was told he was convinced by a, a black dog to murder people for Satan, and I yep. think maybe it might be a, um, what is the word I'm looking for? It might be a, an egregore, sort of a something that is projected out from from all over time and space, which is why again, um, cats are are are. Are, are seen dogs are seen goats are seen animals are the familiars of these witches, and maybe that's what you're seeing. Oh. Yeah, and it just, whatever, it just felt very different than anything that I've ever come in contact with here. It didn't feel like it belonged here. So I don't know if it was something that, you know, all of us together have some kind of spiritual beacon. We always end up getting stuff to happen. I don't know if we brought something into this investigation or if it was just something I hadn't encountered here before, but... I just wanted to make sure that I respected the spirits that are in the house and, right. you know, I don't want to upset them at all. Um, right. And I wanted that to, whatever that darkness was to go away. It feels right. like it did up there at least, but. Okay. Well, I am, uh, I'm like, I'm like, I feel like spacey. I feel like I'm like not myself. Like I'm like shaky. Yeah. Like it well, came it, that I started to feel sick as soon as I woke off the camera. Like it was like I had to do that in order to like breathe again. Like it was so weird. Well, that is weird. Perhaps, uh, Richard Lell, this is the time for our cleansing breath. I uh, think it would be a very good idea. Yes. To sort of end, uh, wrap up our uh, so, evening here at the John Proctor house. What I always like to tell people to do is, if you can, put your feet flat on the earth, sit up as tall as you can. We're going to do three breaths into the nose, <clears> out <throat> the mouth, 
So, and as we do, we clear out all of that negative energy. We clear away anything that would potentially harm the body. We calm the mind and here we go. We're into the nose, out to the mouth. One. Two. three and now we are coming back to earth the veil is closing all of the spirits that are on our side they can stay all of the positive all of the joy all of the laughter they are here anything that would wish harm anything that would wish to cause nightmares anything that would want to go through the interwebs into other people's homes even dean and your your vacuum cleaner <laughs> okay you know what the vacuum cleaner that's a lost cause already that, that nothing thing. is going to go into that, that world nothing yeah. leaves beyond this point and the veil is closed and we are clean we are pure nothing is going to harm us there good job courtney shake it all off yes courtney you are the true the bravest person in paranormal uh, I'm brave uh, until the lights to turn off, and then <laughs> are you going to sleep with the off. lights on tonight? Yeah, I I don't think I've ever slept here with the lights off. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have you slept there? I, I didn't realize you had that much experience at the job. There's locker. been a handful of times, but I'll tell you, um, there's one bedroom upstairs that it scares me in not like a, not in a bad way, just like because I know something's going to happen. Um, so the last time I slept here, I was brave because we had already, we had been doing the show for a little bit. And I was like, well, if I can do scared and alone, I can sleep in the scary room. So I slept, I, I laid down in the bed and I had my back to the door and, um, a little while, like the lights, obviously I think I had my lantern actually on the side table and the light on. Um, and I had my back to the door and all of a sudden I st I heard what sounded like someone was like holding a metal door knob and like rattling the door like this and oh, i said out loud i'm not turning around you can knock it off i'm not turning around and it stopped but the and then the the room that i had slept in before a couple of times is on the other side of the wall where from where my head was and then yeah. after the rattling stopped i kept hearing tapping <sighs> like it was like hey you're in the wrong place like hey you're supposed to be over here. um and then when i was light out and i was brave again. I rolled over and I looked. There's no doorknob on the door <gasps> to make that sound. Oh no! But the door rattling. itself was like rattling. But there's like a hole where the doorknob used to, where like a doorknob was. So like but the door doesn't like shut all the way. So the door was shaking and there was that rattling, like the metal rattling. But there's nothing metal there to rattle. So, wow. Yeah. Okay. And are you staying in that room tonight, or are you staying in the first I, room? No, I think I'm, I think I'm staying in the scary room. <laughs> bravo, bravo, <laughs> bravo, Courtney. fantastic, That's Richard. Proud. Well, thank you again uh, for this. Uh, some people are very curious about the painting, where they can see it, where they oh, can I love it. it. Thank you. Well, uh, uh, I always like to offer it to the owners first. So, mm -hmm. the owner of the Proctor, Proctor House, yes, Barbara is, may be interested. Yeah, if you're interested, you can contact me. Everyone else, if, if it doesn't go there. It will be up for sale. You can find it on my Instagram page, The Gentleman Psychic, or Richard Leo Lillard. Either way, it comes up the same. Um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all of the above. I, yep. That's where you can find it and me. Awesome. Have um, you uh, 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 tried to uh, uh, do the domain of Spectral Bob Ross yet? You know, I really should. I think I should before somebody else gets that bright idea. I think it suits you a lot, my friend. <laughs> I don't I, have the air for it, though. <laughs> no, that's right. I don't Courtney, think anyone has the air for Bob Ross hair. That's one of a kind. Bob Ross? Courtney, yeah. you were going to say something? Yeah, I was going to say if they don't want it, I do. <laughs> so <Aww>. dibs. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Richard Lell. Barb, I see you just popped back on. Thank you very much for letting us uh, go through your house. Uh, if anybody wants to come and visit you, where did they go? How, what's your website? Oh, we don't hear oh, you. Oh, you're muted. You're on mute. 
Yeah, we have uh, Facebook and Instagram and just started a TikTok. And we also have a GoFundMe and they're all uh, at the John Crocker house. Oh, fantastic. And the renovations yeah, continue since I talked to you last? <laughs> yes, they have. We've done some work on the second floor and now we're going to concentrate on uh, the first floor and <laughs> and that shower pan floor. good lord that shower oh, pan yeah. needs replacing i'm i'm just telling you yeah. from what i remember that shower <laughs> pan get on that bar yeah yeah that is uh really what we're going to be working on and some of the staircases because um as courtney can attest some of them are kind of dangerous to go <laughs> up and down <laughs> fantastic well thank you again barb and todd great you. seeing you uh we are going to be back. neighbors, and yet we rarely can run into each other. We got to put that to a stop. We got to hang out. We'll get together here real soon. Yeah, absolutely. What uh, What do you got coming up next that people can watch or see? Um, everything we're doing is on DetroitParanormalExpeditions.com, and we're on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, everywhere. So fantastic, awesome. We we'll look forward to seeing you again, Todd. And Haley, Michelle, you brought Harmony out for the final. Yes, I feel better with her too. So yeah, me too. Right that other one, the eyes, the eyes were like moving, and it, I you know, know. last time cut your lights out. So yes, and she <laughs> cut my. Remember, my voice went off. I like know. A, yeah, you went. And the audio kicked out. That was mm -hmm. all ridiculous. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that doll should come and hang out with my robot vacuum. Maybe and they'll like pull each other out. We should put her on top of it so it like rides around, you know? <laughs> oh my God. That would scare the shit out of Dean if that happened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won't be in the room when that happens, but if, you know, it could just be a live stream. Like <laughs> that would be awesome. Uh, we would love that. Uh, Haley, are you going to be uh, live anywhere? Are you going to be um, seeing in a paranormal convention or of any sort or any sort? Oh, um, I'm actually going to be, uh, I did a podcast a, a while back, but it's going to be showing on Monday and it's called like, I know you probably heard it. It's like bacon and beer or something like that. Bacon Whoa. and beer podcast. Yeah. That's a, a uh, I've heard people be on that show. Oh yeah. So Patty, you Patty goes on there regularly. Yeah, yeah, Patty Negra, and she, and it's, and you have a beer, and you eat bacon, and you talk paranormal. Yep, right. right, that's what we did. Well, I didn't did drink, you? but I didn't have bacon either, but it was still fun. <laughs> so wait, you went on bacon and beer, you never had a beer, <laughs> and you didn't eat bacon. Right. So you were basically the worst guest they could possibly. I was like the worst. They were telling me like, never again. <laughs> no, I did not say never again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Haley. Look thank forward you. to see you on our next episode of Scared Alone. And for everyone who joined us online, thank you for all your comments. If you recorded anything, if you got an EVP, uh, we want to hear what you uh, discovered, what you've uh, investigated. Send it to us uh, through all the regular channels. And uh, Courtney, uh, do we do you have any uh, social media platforms that we should? Yeah. Um, so if I go live tonight, which I, I may do for a little bit, uh, it's going to be either on my Instagram or my TikTok. Both are at the themes, T-H-E-F-E-E-M-S. Right. Um, so if I'm not live on one, check the other one, but give me a little bit because I'm feeling a little bit wonky. So I need to do, I think, a bit more cleansing. Yeah. And I need to have some, some salt or something. Um, take some more breathing. Do some, oh, Take some more breathing. Look, I can't even put words together. <laughs> that addict messed me up. Have a shower. Maybe just have a shower. But I know. Maybe. But don't do the shower pan on the ground floor because that one's leaky, it thinks. I'm sorry, Barbara. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Well, I in. already had one shower today. Like how much effort do I really need to put in? Is... <laughs> well, it's not effort. It's a cleansing thing. It's, I'm suggesting it's, that you I might cleanse. just go outside in the moonlight. I think that's oh, what I'm going to do. Yes. That would, that's a lovely. Some, yeah. And deal with the ghosts outside. So very I'm good. Sure I'll find them. Awesome. <laughs> so thank you everybody. Again, another fantastic show. We are always uh, scared and alone <laughs> every time. Uh, this time more than usual. I'm going to have to repair six hard drives mm -hmm. and uh, I'll probably throw out my robot vacuum. Uh, <laughs> so 
next time. Uh, I've been Dean Haglin. We thank our producers in Los Angeles and New York. And uh, I'm not sure where we're going to be next week, but every Saturday night from uh, 8 or 9 till 11 p.m. on East Coast time, uh, join us wherever you find your fine streaming paranormal live investigations. We are scared and alone. Goodbye, everybody. Thanks, Courtney, Todd, Richard Lell, Barb. Bye. See you guys. Bye. 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 some wish to be exposed to, and those people should be forewarned. And it's like the same voice, too. It is the same voice. It is yeah. the same tone. Maybe Todd. Maybe you should get out of that room. Cause yeah. He was lighting up and it said, get out or die. I don't know. Get out or die. Get out or die. Okay. Ah! Oh. <laughs> okay, what happened, Courtney? You scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I don't know. When there was something flying. <laughs> Me flying a bat. Whoever's here and interacting with me, are you trying to bring me up to the second floor? Look at it move. Listen, I can see it on this, but it's not really doing it in person. What I'm imagining that I'm also hearing some sort of voice at night when they open back up in the morning. That doll was in a different part of the store. Go red. Oh, Go red. no, it's oh, geez, there's the car moving around. Why is it moving by itself? People are smelling embalming fluid. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Everybody's saying you're not safe. Yeah. David, how do you feel? Are you okay? No, no, I, I'm not okay. I, I mean, I'm really concerned. This is weird. People are picking up on a tunnel all below there. Here's here's the wide tunnel. There's Salem is known for its tunnels. I can ask, hear it. Ask them if they're ready to go to war. Oh, wow. Somebody's getting, where are and all my I things? Laugh, it goes off. Things are not mine. My house. They said there's something going on with that clown. The, uh, the, people are still seeing stuff with the eyes on the clown. Does she? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the motion control doll. Like, are you the female again, prisoner? <laughs> I saw someone run from that area. Oh my gosh, why did you do that? Courtney, you need to be warned. Um, somebody says that they see that someone following you around there and touching you on the shoulder Where i've heard what i've heard what she's hearing and it's it catches you and it's it's a little bit it's scary it's scary